In Clarksville, a 22-year-old mom is now searching for somewhere to live with her two young boys. The tornado demolished their trailer on Saturday, and she tells our Lydia Fielder her baby was spun up inside of it and survived. This is what's left of the room where Sydney Moore was laying on top of her one-year-old, shielding him from the tornado as her four-month-old baby got sucked away and her mobile home demolished. Towering over the rubble of her mobile home and shadowing her crushed car, Sydney's kid's playpen is wrapped around a tree, a jarring reminder of how easily the tornado tossed their four-month-old baby to the wind. The roof came off first. The tip of the tornado came down and picked up the bassinet with my baby Lord in it, and he was the first thing to go up. In his attempt to keep the bassinet inside, her boyfriend and father of her children was sucked up with it. At the same time, in the back bedroom, Sydney threw her body on top of their one-year-old son, shielding him. Literally, the moment I jumped on him, the walls collapsed. Like, I was being really crushed. Like, I couldn't breathe. The couple frantically searched through the rubble and the pouring rain for the infant. I thought he was dead. I was pretty sure he was dead and we weren't going to be able to find him. Then, a miracle. They found baby Lord alive with just a cut on his face. In a it looked like a little tree cradle. He was just laying there. The entire family survived. Now, as she walks back down to where her home used to be, Sydney's recalling how she thought this would never happen to her family. Everything could be taken like that. You better listen to the mornings. You better stay on top of the news. The kids that she risked her life to save sleeping peacefully tonight. Like those are those kids are what saved me. Like they saved me from everything, and I don't know what I would have done without them. There's a link to donate to the family's GoFundMe on our website, WSMB4.com. In Clarksville, I'm Lydia Fielder, WSMB4.